This is Brad Morton with Morton Design Group here to present the Lou Residence. This is a remodel project. We're working around an existing pool. We are pushing out um, a six foot retaining wall here to pick up a sport court. We are adding an observation deck up here that uh, takes advantage of the uh, views. And I'm showing you options for hardscape modifications in the front yard if you're interested. So as we get down into the 3D, I'll explain a few things. Uh, my goal for the front yard was to bring the whole look of the house and the yard up to date a little bit to uh, give it more of a, uh, a modern, uh, modernized uh, new home look. And the way I've achieved that is I have removed the wrought iron that uh, was more decorative than security. And I've replaced that with a, uh, a series of hedges. Um, I've got more of a clean manicured area up here. I've got some pilasters with some stacked stone accents here. Um, light uh, at this pilaster here for illumination of the entryway. I have removed the brick cap and pro uh, promoting that we stucco veneer those areas. Get rid of some of the busy stair steps by adding some block in here and there to, uh, to reduce the busyness there. Um, but that's the general idea here, a adding some stack stone columns uh, to the corners of the home here also uh, richens that up a lot and uh, adds some detail there. So that's the goal there. Nice accent olive tree here in the front providing some screening from the, uh, the uh, front door to the street. Acts as a kind of an intermediary there. And then removing the brick going up here and replacing that with a nice port in place concrete set of steps. And again, a uh, decorative light here to illuminate this upper area. The driveway would stay the same. We could sandblast that, uh, acid wash it to clean it up and revitalize it a little bit. Uh, have a tumble paver pathway with a colored concrete band that surrounds it that takes you up to the front door. Over here, I'm uh, uh, suggesting that possibly we either beef up the existing planter wall or remove it and do a beefier wall with a little bit of stacked stone poured in place get some vines on the wall to soften some of those transitions up. Over here to the right uh, you'll see the new six foot retaining wall and the sport court over here. I've got some fruit trees up on the slope that'll take in that great sun that you have. Um, basic privacy barriers along the fence. The new fencing would go from the uh, pilaster all the way up and then across so your current fence stops about here we would need to extend that and then I propose that we come straight down from that. And that just allows you to pick up this space and allows you to uh, tend it and to use it. Uh, new iron gate here, nice double gate. So if you ever did want to use the sport court as a uh, RV or car overflow, that would work out. And then we have, uh, however you want to configure the court, uh, you, you could obviously set the basketball up uh, wherever you'd like. Uh, looking in the back here, looking down on the pool, what I've tried to do is create a little bit of a green belt around here to soften those transitions. Those current transitions are pretty harsh with the concrete going right to the wall. Uh, the chain link has been removed so that it feels like you have use of that slope, which is yours. I have a new stair system going up to an observation deck here, and I'm screening the existing pool equipment now with a wall and probably modifying the pad that the equipment sits on, taking it down to a, a lower level. Looking across the pool, some of the major things you'll notice, I've added some decorative uh, columns here and there to kind of mark the uh, lower and upper decks. I've got some decorative pottery on there to bring that alive a little bit. Uh, you'll see the planters uh, along the back wall, and again, I'm uh, proposing that we stucco the back of that. You'll wall. also notice the patio cover here that's in approximately the same location. The uh, difference here is we're trying to do less posts, uh, beef those up a little bit. This would be a six by six post with some booting. Uh, we have a heavier trellis here that is topped with a clear corrugated that will allow for sunlight to get through, but uh, you can also enjoy it in the rain should you choose to be outside. Uh, there's also four 18 inch wide spillways that I have proposed going in along the back as well as a new uh, kind of a slate series tile uh, that'll give it more of a natural look and um, over here on the very right you'll see your existing lemon tree 
I'm proposing that we keep the existing lemon tree here and we remove the other one uh, because the other one is in the way a little bit of the tree of the uh, sport court and I felt that uh, it would be important to try to tie that together a little bit better so that uh, meant that that one could probably leave without too much difficulty here's a view from over in the left side of the yard and I thought that um, this would be a good place for a portable barbecue could go anywhere but this could be a decent place for it um, you'll see the stairs going up to the observation deck and uh, you'll also see uh, how that uh, pilaster and fountains relate to each other up on the upper deck here I have a an accent tree that we're kind of sitting under right now but that would uh, provide some afternoon shade and evening uh, shade for this uh, table area you could always put an umbrella as well uh, depending on what specimen we chose and how long it took to grow uh, you could enjoy that pretty soon uh, stairway going up to the observation deck here's a view of that and then ultimately our little lookout deck up here taking full advantage of these great views that you guys have of the uh, downtown area and that would be uh, probably a combination of a manufactured wood and uh, real wood to reduce maintenance and just a last overview here side yard here I um, suggest that we do our wrought iron gate returns to the house here and that we remove the iron here and just uh, create a, a little green belt that uh, you'll enjoy from this window and then just have a simple path going all the way out here's another view of the patio cover the heavier uh, lattice boxed in with the uh, wood fascia and then the support beam back here so we have a nice two and a half three foot cantilever here posts are back far enough we have a nice uh, shade structure that uh, is not too busy so that is my first attempt at the remodeled design I appreciate your time and I look forward to your feedback thank you very much